fire movement is sweeping across California. It's called California Will Be Saved. This 4th of July, the group will be in Hollywood and they are inviting you to join them. Their mission to restore faith in the Golden State and have the nation follow. Joining me now is one of the organizers, Ross Johnston. Hi, Ross. Good to see you again. Hey, Alicia. It's great to see you. We'll get to Hollywood in a moment, but first, why does California need to be saved? Yeah, I think that's a great question because we see that California, though it's dark and crazy and so much chaos happening, so many eyes are on the state. And so we really believe that wherever California goes, the world is going to go. So if we save California, we believe that it's going to impact not only the nation of America, but the nations of the world. Well, how can we save California? What are your efforts to do that? Yeah, I think it really begins with understanding that God is the one who really founded our nation. You know, so many of the amazing founding fathers, they understood that without God, our nation would fall. And so I believe that in this season of time, if we don't understand that if God is not the foundation of our nation, then we don't have hope. And so I believe for us, as we go and travel across California, we're not here to judge people. We're not here to condemn people. We want to give people an opportunity to experience God and say, hey, this is where our hope must lie. Okay, I want to get back to the Supreme Court. They had a few major rulings that could or maybe it did not affect you. According to data, uh, there's a mental health crisis in America. The majority of people agree mass shootings are due in part to mental health issues exacerbated by the extended lockdowns. More people are suffering from depression, anxiety, substance abuse, just to name a few. How do you think strong faith can help heal this mental health crisis? Yeah, that's a great question because I believe that when we talk about depression and mental health, you know, we really look at the surface level, but what's behind that or what's deeper is what's going on in someone's heart. What is their identity? What do they feel their purpose is? And so what we've been seeing as we travel is all these cities we go to, mental health is increasing. Like, and it's so challenging. It stirs our heart. But we believe that what faith will do is it'll give people true purpose, true hope, true healing, and then out of that place, we will see a decrease in all of these areas that are affecting our nation. So the Supreme Court now recently ruled in favor of a former Washington State High School football coach saying he has the right to pray on the field after games. Does this ruling affect your movement? Yeah, you know what I think is really interesting is so many times, right, and when I see the Supreme Court, you know, it always happens to be Christians <laughs> that make it to these cases. And so I just love how we're seeing religious freedom, religious liberty being restored in our nation. And so for us, it hasn't affected us yet. And I'm praying that it won't. But regardless of what happens, whether the government comes against us or not, we know what God has spoken to us. And so we're going to stand firm in faith. We're going to stand firm in love. And we're definitely not going to back down. What about uh, the overturning of Roe v. Wade, kicking the power of abortions back to individual states? California yeah. will never ban abortions, but your thoughts on this? Absolutely. You know, we actually have people in our camp that have been praying for over 20 to 30 years, people by the name of Lou Engel. Um, and what we've seen here is God is doing something so massive. This is a time of celebration, a time of victory for us as Christians. And so I'm just really excited because I believe this is just one of the dominoes to fall. And I believe that America is going to see righteousness restored. And it's just such an exciting time to be alive. All right. Now to Hollywood. You'll be in that area on uh, the 4th of July. Tell us more about that event. Yeah, well, we all know that Hollywood is one of, if not the most influential cities in the entire world. And so we're believing that the headline for Hollywood will no longer be darkness but it will actually be the presence of Jesus. And so we're going there 4th of July. We're actually running out a parking lot on Vine in Hollywood, right down in there in the craziness and chaos. And we're going to take a sound of worship. We're going to share the gospel. We're going to love on the city. And we're just believing for an encounter with God that's going to transform not only lives, not only cities, but our entire state. All right, that will be at 5 p.m. Um, California will be saved. Ross Johnston, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it. We'll see you soon.